Because of its low melting point, the Romans found lead easy to cast into all kinds of products, which helped make Rome the capital of the ancient world. In fact, the Latin word for lead, plumblum, is where we get our word plumbing. Lead was also used as a complementary flavoring in Roman wine and food. Yet Romans were aware that lead could pose health problems. The Roman architect Vitruvius cautioned against using it in pipes to conduct drinking water after observing the illnesses plaguing lead foundry workers and miners. And the disease Saturnine gout was prevalent among the Roman aristocrats who imbibed heavily in the lead-laced wine and food. Some historians even blame the fall of the Roman Empire on lead poisoning. Today, we know just ingesting small amounts of lead dust can lead to brain damage and even death. How potent is lead? A child can be poisoned by only 10 milligrams of pure lead. To give you an idea of what a small amount that is, this spoonful contains about 4,000 milligrams. However, those same properties that attracted the Romans made lead popular to many different civilizations throughout history. It's almost impossible to find a portrait of an ancient Egyptian who didn't decorate their eyes with eyeliners made out of ground-up lead ore. And in medieval times, lead was the first choice metal for the movable type of the first printing press in 1455, and was used in lead light and stained glass window frames. Lead ore, also known as galena, has been collected throughout the ages. Galena always breaks in cubes with smooth surfaces because of its unique crystal structure, a property that ushered in a new wireless technology at the turn of the 20th century. It was learned that galena crystals could detect radio signals, and it wasn't long before the favorite wireless device of the time was the galena crystal radio set. also developed in the 1920s was one of the most significant and damning uses of lead as a fuel additive. It was found that when the extremely poisonous compound tetraethyl lead was mixed with cheaply refined gasoline, it stopped premature combustion of the fuel-air mixture in a car's engine. This is known as knocking or pinging. Despite health concerns from the beginning, it took 70 years before leaded gas was completely phased out for use in on-road vehicles.